Well, good morning, friends. We had a very restful night in the Hilton Chicago O'Hare Airport, uh, and Mrs. Carnes and I have decided that we have become uh, airplane geeks. We have sat here for I don't know how many hours last night and this morning, watching the planes come in and out of uh, O'Hare, and there are a lot of them, a lot of big ones too. So uh, we had a runway view, and it's really cool. We got to see planes landing during the daytime, and then we saw what it's like to land planes at night, the comings and goings of O'Hare at night. So that was uh, kind of cool. Um, I don't know if we're just weird or what, Mrs. Carnes. What do you think? <laughs> I think we might just be uh, weird. We're not weird, but we're really, really cool. That's what we are. So we are getting ready to finish packing up and begin an exciting day of travel. This is a day that we have looked forward to since 2019. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that maybe we were a lot like other people who took international travel for granted. And I'm not doing that anymore. We're going to enjoy an international trip today, but we're not telling you where we're going just yet because today's video is more about the Polaris Lounge. Yay. We are traveling internationally with United, which gets you into the Polaris Lounge here at O'Hare, which by all of our understandings, <laughs> she's pretty excited about it as you can <laughs> I can't tell. Wait. Uh, our understanding is this is one of the best lounges in the United States. And so we're going to go and experience it. Uh, we're going to show you all the details of it. We're going to try and eat all the food. We did <laughs> not eat breakfast today. We want to be good and empty when we go to the lounge because the food options look really, really cool. And while we're at the lounge, we'll let you know where our trip is going to end up. So thank you for tuning in today. Second travel day on the 2022 Mrs. Carnes and Me Big Trip. Thanks for tuning in. And by the way, you're not going to want to miss the next few videos that we have. So I know that a lot of you watch our videos and haven't subscribed yet. Take a minute, click the subscribe button. It's free and it helps Mrs. Carnes' ego out a great deal to think <laughs> that you have now subscribed to our channel and actually helps mine out too. So take a minute and subscribe. If you like what we're doing, give us a big fat thumbs up. Thank you for tuning in. Very long journey. It's going to take us about 10 minutes to walk. <laughs> <laughs> this was really close. Though. And it was a good choice to stay here. It's a very if good choice. If you're flying in and out of O'Hare and you want convenience, this is the place. And the runway. Yeah, it was great. Today we are checking out what could be the best airport lounge that we've ever been to. It's the United Polaris Lounge. It is an exclusive lounge only for international long haul business class passengers. There are only six Polaris lounges in the world, all of which are in the United States. There's one in Washington, New York, Houston, Los Angeles, San Francisco, and in Chicago, where we are today. Heading to the Polaris Lounge. Checking into the lounge is straightforward. All you need is your boarding pass. There is also a sit-down restaurant in this lounge, and we will be checking that out first. So, there is an actual sit-down restaurant in the Polaris Lounge. And we're sitting in a little booth, and it's really cool. I'm so excited. Can't believe we're really here doing this. It's so awesome.
So we have a, today we have a leek chowder that we're starting off as an appetizer with. We're gonna share a plate of uh, Gruyere cheese. It looks yummy, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And then I have the buffalo cauliflower, which I understand has a little heat and I can smell it. It's gonna be good. Looks yummy. Let's dig in. Let's do it. So we're in lunch on Grace today. Mrs. Carnes has chosen the world famous Polaris Burger. This is the only place in the world that you can get a Polaris Burger. It's it in a looks Polaris yummy. It looks and it so looks yummy. Incredible. It's got it blue cheese and steak fries. Yum. And I have chosen the chicken and Milanese. It looks good. It does look good. It looks fantastic. Though. What's underneath it? Little, little, like, little, little potatoes. Oh, cool. And we still haven't eaten our cheese. We're going to save that for last. You do like a good cheese, I don't like you? cheese. <laughs> That's his dessert, probably. No, we get to order dessert, too. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, there's an oil cake. I'm going to have yeah, that. Yum. And a cookie. Yum. Okay. So Mrs. Carnes has ordered herself an oil cake, which would, looks lemon like... lemon oil cake. Lemon oil cake, which looks like blueberries on top of it. I don't know what to try. If it is, then well, you I, made I, a mistake. Yeah, I made a bad choice, then. And you got, I have oh. the banana caramel crumble. Banana caramel crumble. No. Okay, we'll try it and see. Here we go. Cute little bar area. Order whatever you want. type of chairs, full drink station, this looks like lemon pound cake, chocolate chip cookies, a vegetarian wrap, smoked turkey, cheese, This lounge also offers a self-service food bar. There are also runway views and you can watch planes park right next to the windows while you eat. There are different types of seating everywhere and different bars that offer tea, coffee and soft drinks around the lounge. So it looks like all the lights have a plug, like a receptacle for a USB, and then a regular just power outlet, which is kind of cool. So I got a pillow and a blanket that are warm. Did you see that? I do. Oh my lord. That's so nice. So Mr. Carnes is over here in his own little day bedroom. And I'm on this side, in my little day bedroom. I'm not talking to you. I was filming, that's okay. It's cool, very cool. So we're going on hour number four in the Polaris Lounge. This is going by way too fast. We've had a a sit-down meal, we've had a little nap, we've had a couple of cocktails, Mrs. Carnes has enjoyed some Prosecco, so we've we've enjoyed our time immensely here so far. We still have about two and a half hours here. I think Mrs. Carnes is going to go refresh herself and take a shower in a bit. So this is, I think, from a service level and a, and a um, and a food level and a drink level, the very best lounge that we've ever been in. It's a shame that we can't use this every time we fly. Um, we kind of joke that we're kind of weird. We like hanging out in airport lounges, but we've sit here and watched, I don't know how many 787 Dreamliners come in and out of this place and think about where they're going 
and watch the people come and go. It's a great place to hang out before an international flight. So have we told them where we're going? No, we haven't. Should we do that now? It's up to you. You're the one that's doing the teasers. I'm the one talking? You're the doing the, you've been the one saying, not going to tell you, not going to tell you. You said you'd tell them in the lounge. So I'm very happy to say that we are about to get on a plane and fly to the land of Mrs. Carnes' ancestors. We are taking a 757-200 on United, narrow body plane, um, in Polaris seats to Edinburgh. We're going to spend about 12 days running around the country of Scotland and seeing all the cool things that are there. Are you excited, Mrs. Carnes? I'm very excited. You can't can hardly her, wait to get there. You can't see her face. She's smiling from ear to ear. I've been smiling all day. So I've smiled so much my face hurts. If you haven't <laughs> subscribed yet, I know I said this earlier, you better subscribe because we're going to do some really cool things in Scotland. We want you to see them. So we are in the shower suite. Shower. So me too, doesn't it? It all looks good. <laughs> Parmesan crisps, a summer minestrone. So off the buffet, I am trying this summer minestrone soup. The it's like a chicken pot pie, but the crust is in the shape of an airplane. It's got a little of the charcuterie and then the. Uh, Another lemon pasta dish. So we're gonna give these a try and see if they're good. I'll report back later. Okay, so after testing, the summer minestrone soup was good. This thing with the chicken and the little puff pastry airplane was the best thing. 
the cheese. Very good with sun-dried tomatoes. And the pasta was good, but nothing special, but it was really good. Okay, how cute is that? Looks very yummy. Very yummy looking. Yum. Gonna try it. Okay, so this was the best thing ever. It was like a half-baked chocolate chip cookie with some ice cream on top. Delish. Loved it. Wanna lick the bowl, but I won't. There's a cool ceiling in the hall of bathrooms. This is the bathroom. It's really nice. There I am. It's got a little little thing. So there's lights out in the hallway that tell you when the bathroom is not occupied. Very cute. So this is kind of cute. The uh, hand and body cream and the hand wash are called In-Flight Remedy. Just thought that was fun. So thank you for tuning in to this very special Chicago O'Hare United Polaris Lounge video today. Uh, we've had a great time in the lounge. We're looking forward to a great flight. We're looking forward to a great, great trip to Scotland. So thanks for watching. This is Carnes and me. Smash that like button. And we hope that you too are living the good life. Cheers. Too soon. Our time here is over. Good. <laughs>